<laughs> so we haven't been out here for a little while and I'm just not really quite sure where the fish are today. So we're going to try a couple of things and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to rig, rig up uh, a ballyhoo on a uh, like a sea witch, actually a wild willies witch that I believe that these are hand tied by Mr. Wild Willie himself. So I'm going to rig this up. This is going to resemble like a uh, flying fish. And when we get it all squared away, you'll see what it looks like. I rigged this um, sea witch up with a rather large hook. And then I put a small chin weight. And then I also did a pin because I want to use this spring. And the reason why I like the spring is that I can adjust it over time. Um, as the ballyhoo kind of gets worn out throughout the day, I can just kind of tighten that spring down and keep him nice and straight. And then, of course, with the chin weight and the sea witch, it kind of skirts through the top of the water. It does. It looks very similar to a flying fish. So with that, we're going to rig this baby up. First thing we got to do is clean him out. So we got to get him defunct. So. Commence with the defuncting. So this just consists mainly of just kind of getting his guts out. I mean, you can do a pin with um, with ballyhoo without a sea witch. I just like it because of the weight, and I like it because of the um, actually it kind of gives a lot of, a lot of action as well. So all right, a couple more times to try to get everything out of there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That. Okay. Cool. So the next thing we want to do is just kind of bend him a little bit so he has some good action coming through the water. I don't want any barracuda out there either. Come and grab my hand. I'm gonna break off his beak. <laughs> now for the good stuff. All right, take the sea witch, put him over here. Put him on. Go away, sea witch. Okay, so the, I'm gonna line up the pin with his bottom and upper lip and see where that hook is going to come out and I project it to come out right about here put a little hole there that's where we want the hook to come out and go through his gill like such kind of find that spot a sweet spot and just kind of work it you can see the hook point just kind of work it around Work it. It's almost there. Almost there. And there we go. And just kind of twist it. Come around. Take this chin weight now. Put it right in right through. And then the most important part is getting that pin in the thick part of his upper lip. And find that spring. Open it up just a touch. Ideally, I should have done this before I left the dock. That would have been the smart thing to do. All right, now just twist this spring until it kind of fits on him nice and snug. This will keep him coming straight when you uh, bring him in. When you're trolling him, he'll come in nice and straight. See, so you can see that snug down. Straighten this hook a little bit. Get that chin weight right underneath there. It's perfect. There we go. And there we go. That's him right there. Beautiful. All right, we're going to rig them up, troll them up. Fish on, fish on. He hit the big guy. Uh, he hit the bigger one. Yep, there he goes. Got some good head shakes.
Where are you with that one? You might leave that one out. Hold on. Are you, are you close? I have no idea. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, keep going. I was worried about them getting tangled up, but I think they'll be all right. <clears throat> he did take some lines, so. Man, he threw some tuna cut. That's the one that was supposed to get hit from tuna. Oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> Way out. <laughs> you got him? Good. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna bring him over this way. What's your guess, babe? Uh I'm saying tuna because no jumps. If it was my he would have came out of the water by now. Can we pull this one in too? If you can. Yep. Not a monster fish, but a good, you know, he should be a good size one. What are you thinking? Same? I hope skip that. All right. I got a little bit of color. Okay. You got leader back? Here he comes. Looks like, uh, yep, it's a uh, black fin. In the, doing the death spirals. Come on aboard. Come aboard, my yeah. friend. There we go. That's what we were asking for. Nice. <laughs> Great. There he job, is, baby. Dan. Yeah. All right. He's a chunker. Didn't yeah, he? He nailed that boy. He ate the big one, too. Which I'm very surprised Good at. Good job, baby. Nice. Oh, he's a good size one. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a nice one. What do you need? I was going to ask for that towel, but I think right now. Yeah, nice. Good nice. job, Dan. Nice. Let's bleed him out. Woo! Nice. Good All right. job, boy. Got a good one. All right. In we go. Into the, into the cooler. We're going to be eating good tonight. All right. So that black fin tuna we just picked up, we got him around 275. And we were trolling about five and a half knots. You guys already know the purple feather, right? This is the bigger one though. We've got the small one out that we normally use and then we've got this bigger one. And man, he sure nailed this thing. So we're gonna set back up and see if we can do it again. All right, we're still putting out and there are flying fish springing out of the water everywhere. So could be any second. Look at all these birds. We're about to troll through all of this. This is what you want to see. Oh yeah. Don, fish on, here we Woo! go. Bum, 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 bum. What's that? Da -da. Still got him? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Da -da. Oh, seaweed on you. I wonder why. Who? The yellow thing. Yellow thing, gotcha. There you go. Good size one or what? I think so. Sorry about that. I'm gonna keep it going just a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck is that going on over there? That could be a mighty. You still got him? You got him? He came right out of the water, so. Turn that clicker off. You think you would learn, Dan. Ah, another piece of garbage on this one. No wonder why we weren't getting any hit on that. All 
Yeah, he's all yours right now. We are in neutral. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, I just saw some color there, yeah. There you go. So it's a black thing, though. Well, we're about to find out what's going on here. Yep, it's a black fin. Nice. Hi, yeah. Baby. Hey, sushi size. There we go. Good, good catch. Good catch. Those fishes are still out there too. Yeehaw. Nice. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are we keeping this? Um, is he in good shape still? Let him go. Yeah. Yeah. He's let him go. Yeah, let him go. We gotta right, let him go. Gonna send him back. We can keep him technically, but he's so little. Yeah, let him go. We got a good one before. There nice. Job, nice. It's fun. Always fun. Listen, he gave a good fight. He I did. Mean, Great job, man. Especially Great job. for his size. Then I thought I lost him. That's because he was so small. Yeah, I think yeah, he started yeah, swimming yeah. towards the boat, and I'm cranking, and I'm like, he's gone. <laughs> nice. That was fun. That was fun. All right, cool. Oh, look at this. What? What? Yep, there it is. The perp. See, so big purple catches big tuna, little purple catches a little tuna. But not all the time, because we got that 25 true. pounder on that one. That's true. All right, so here's the deal. Those birds have moved on, so we're going to pull up the last line and then head straight for those birds. Hey everybody, we are back. We had such a great time catching those tuna. Like you saw, we just kept the one. Yeah, technically, we could have kept both of them, but that second one that I caught was actually so small. It just seemed like such a waste to keep him. He was alive and doing great, so we gave him back, and uh, we'll get him next time when he's bigger. But today, we are going to make something that I think you're really going to like, and um, it's going to be a little bit different. So, if you have not seen our video about seared tuna, you're definitely going to want to watch that because I'm not going to show you that whole thing on how to properly sear tuna again. For all of those of you who have been around forever and you've seen that, that's old news. But for anyone who hasn't, go check it out. Um, but today we are doing a salad with seared tuna. Any restaurant you go to down here, you will find seared tuna and lots of times you can get it on any salad. So I'm going to show you how to make the best salad at home from scratch using blackfin tuna that you catch. It is amazing. So, This is homemade ginger dressing, just like you would get in a sushi restaurant. It's super easy to make. Uh, the ingredients are one and a half cups of carrots, peeled and chopped, two stalks of celery, a quarter of a uh, sweet yellow onion, two tablespoons of ginger, you want to peel that and grate it, a half a cup and then an additional two tablespoons of avocado oil, a quarter cup of soy sauce or coconut aminos, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of sugar. You can use coconut sugar, regular sugar, and I use granulated monk fruit. And then a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. This is amazing. So here's the deal. I love sushi for lunch, but I like seared tuna for dinner. And this is an absolutely awesome dinner. So let me introduce you to my dinner. All right, here's my tuna. Look at that. Perfect. You did this perfect, perfectly sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. Okay. Well, sorry. It's muy caliente. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I think you're mixing two cultures there, dear. <laughs> I don't think there's a Spanish term for wasabi. Unless you put El Wasabi. Oh my. <laughs> Look, I'm crying. So listen, you seared this. This is you seared this perfectly. This is perfectly, perfectly seared. And um, it's paired beautifully with this out. So I'm loving the uh, what do they call these little uh, beans? 
Edamame. Ah, uh, a little edamame. Look at that. A little edamame. Perfect. What I really love that you made for the first time about a week ago, and we've, we've been able to store it and keep it, is when you go to a sushi or a Japanese restaurant, and you get that dressing that they make that tastes like it came from heaven, and you, it's like there's no way you could ever find it, Elizabeth made it, and it is perfect. It's the exact salad dressing that you get on the salad in a Japanese restaurant. And it was pretty easy to make. She made it. I didn't make it. But it's perfect. So. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. well, we've had it for a little while. And it's, and it's safe. It's beautiful. So. Oh my God. So here's the thing, though. I would like some more of that dressing. Can I get more? Yeah, of course. Okay, we got a bunch. Okay. Okay, so my turn. We've got a little wasabi. Also... I highly recommend some sriracha and then soy sauce, of course. But I'm going to go, I'm actually going to go for the salad first. Like you said, I want to see if this dressing held up for a week. It did. Man, that is really good. Okay, now tuna time. Honestly, you can get ahi tuna pretty much anywhere, but the blackfin, oh, I'm pretty sure it's my favorite. I mean, it's so lean, it's so delicious, and there is nothing like that. Skipjack, I would say is a little better, but this blackfin is the bomb.com. So, you happy? And your sauce, uh, the I shouldn't say sauce, the, the, that, that salad dressing is it's perfect. I always wanted to know, like, you know, what it is that they do when they give it to you. But I want more. It's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so we have a whole thing full of it, right? You made mm -hmm. like a whole thing full. Yeah. Yeah, there it that is. That recipe there it makes is. this. Plus we had, um, we had another salad with it on there. So, I mean, and this is what's left. When you saw how much I put on there, obviously if you want more, clearly. But in it, this is about a week old. It saves really nicely. I would never dream that they were selling it in there. Never. Yeah. Never. It's so good. And it's, it's And that right the on. orange comes from carrots. From I carrot. had no idea. Yeah. And it's right on. I mean, yeah. it's exact. It's not It's not close. It's exactly what you get in the Japanese restaurant when they serve you that salad. Yeah, it's so, so delicious. There it is. All right. So now we're going to go eat. But we really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we appreciate all the comments. Um, actually, oh, someone sent us not too long ago uh, for my sushi rice a little bowl. Oh, yeah. I wish I knew who it was. They send it anonymously. It works great. Every it time works make, amazing. Uh, every time I make sushi rice now, I use yeah, it. Yeah, we posted about it on Instagram, but you're right. We never posted about it here. So oh. if you send us that bowl, let well, us know. Then, yeah, yeah please. we really appreciate it. Really appreciate when people send us stuff. And we always want to give the appropriate thanks to, yeah. you know. So anyway, anyway. So thanks you for guys are the best. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much. We can't tell you how much we love your comments and just your support. If you have not subscribed yet, why not? Go subscribe right now. And while you're at it, click the bell. That way you know when we immediately when we drop a new video. So, oh, speaking of, listen, we are thinking about going live. Uh, Sunday, September 19th, uh, it is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Oh. So we are thinking about doing a live stream. If you're available and you want us to do a live stream on the 19th, drop a comment below, let us know. And, uh, then we'll, we'll even dress up as pirates. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and probably give away some stuff. So right. if you want to see a live stream, drop a Drop a note below, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll do the 19th, September 19th. Mark your calendar. We're overdue. We are yeah, overdue. Yeah, we're overdue. We had, a, we had a lot of fun last time we did it. We really did. It was so, so much yeah, fun. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, so let us know if you are available on Sunday the 19th, uh, and you would show up for a live stream, because, yeah, maybe, like you said. If we'll you just, show up, we'll show up. That's right. There you go. We'll dress like there pirates, and we'll all talk like pirates. Oh, man. So, Arg. We'll yeah. bring some grog. I'll drink grog. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I found out what it was the other day. We'll okay. bring grog. A little rum, a little water, and some, um, like, lime or lemon, which is watered off the scurvy. Yum! Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. Anyway.
anyway, let us know. And we love you guys so much. You know what to do. Follow us.